Anthony from Tweet Town here. Got a unboxing, first unboxing of the new iPad, third gen, 16 gig Wi-Fi. So you can see here, just a black model, normal 16 gig Wi-Fi. That's it. Just went down and got one. Plenty of stock in Adelaide, South Australia. Let's open it up. Box is exactly the same as the other iPads. No difference. Doesn't feel any hot lot heavier. Exactly the same as before. Let's get into it. There's your iPad. Exactly the same 9.7 inch display. What else we got in here? Australian power adapter. This will of course be different depending on where you're from, what country. USB adapter. Exactly the same as your other iPads. Uh, looks like a little instruction booklet. Which we have, yep, explains the iPad, just on a, oh, it's actually like a little cardboard thing, just explains that the silent button, volume button on the iPad, on and off, exactly the same. Welcome to the iPad, thanks Apple. Um, just important product information guide, just explains the charging and miscellaneous stuff. Apple stickers, you can rock that on your car or your laptop. USB charger cable, standard, standard. It's a 40 pin connector, then it's a different connector on the new iPad. USB, so you can plug it into the charger or your PC or laptop. That's it. That is all. We we'll quickly turn the iPad on. We're going to have a full review in the next week or two. Um, I'll take it around every day, take pictures, videos, use it, I'll see how it goes. Um, between now and then, I'll type something up have a bit of a preview on it, so we'll just turn it on for now. See if we can notice the screens any better. Take the cover off. Looks nice. I don't feel like I can tell any difference between the iPad 2 and the third gen iPad. It feels exactly the same so far. You can see you've got the new iSight 5 megapixel camera, capable of doing 1080p video. You can see it's a 16 gig model, just there. The usual on off the volume, volume rocker, just here. Uh, power button, as usual, 3.5mm jack. This is just the Wi Fi model, so there's no 4G LTE connector up the top. You get a normal dock connector and for the charger as well. And you've also got a speaker here, obviously, you can use for playing music or your. Yeah movies or video recordings that you want to play back. So let's turn it on. Pretty cool intro. I haven't seen that before. It might be iOS 5.1. And we will select British English because that's the closest to Australia. There's not much difference so far. Weight in my left hand, if it was normal, doesn't feel any different. Of course you can select countries here. Obviously I'm from Australia so I'll select Australia. Uh, location of services I'll use because I might test out GPS, see how we go with that for the review. Uh, Wi-Fi network, usual selection, a password. Not much difference here, just the usual setup procedure. Activating the iPad, oh, there you go, it takes a couple of minutes. Um, obviously, you get all, now you get an option now, so you can set up as a new iPad, you can set up as a restore from an iCloud backup or a restore from iTunes backup. So if you've got an old iPad or if your iPad's stolen or damaged or anything like that, you can actually just restore from iCloud or iTunes, which is a really, really good function, um, especially if you've got you know everything stored up onto the cloud. Everything's moving towards the cloud these days. Plus, Apple have their centralized local servers that you can just restore from, which would be nice and quick. Um, I'm going to set this one up as a new iPad. Um, I've already got an Apple ID, so I'll start getting into that and pop out a new review. You'll see us soon. Thanks.